Let's talk politics now. The Board of Trustees of the People's Democratic Party have set up a committee to resolve the conflict among members of the party, especially the differences between its presidential flag bearer and the governor of River State. But the PDP did not respond to calls by a pro-democracy group calling for the resignation of the national chairman over his failure to honor a court judgment that disqualified the governorship candidate of the party in Delta State. We have details in this report. It seems pressure may be mounting on the People's Democratic Party and its national chairman, as more groups within the party are calling for his resignation. This group is accusing Senator Iyocha Ayu of refusing to uphold a court order that disqualified Sharif Oborevori as the party's governorship candidate in Delta State. They say the PDP will lose the governorship election in Delta if the national chairman of the party and the governor of Delta State fail to uphold the court order. We want the judgment of the Federal High Court as delivered by Justice Taiwo Taiwo to be completely honored or respected. The primaries that produced this man is not the issue. The man that was produced as a winner, as eligibility issues, he does not have qualifications to fly the flag of the party. Inside the party's national secretariat, the leadership of the party is also meeting to deliberate on matters that have widened the crack among members of the party. It seems the biggest headache for the PDP ahead of next year's general elections will be to pacify the governor of River State after a hard-fought primary election that gave Atiku Abubakar the party's presidential ticket. We have equally set out committee of the BOT to be able to interface between warring factions, particularly between the acrimony that is taking place between the, the presidential candidate and Gunawuke and any other uh, conflict that is taking place in the nation within our party uh, formation. But the board of trustees is not entirely bothered by the calls for Senator Iyocha Ayu's resignation. It seems they have their eyes set on next year's general election and what they need to do to win majority votes.